below the... Ah, oh, fuck. What? Cheat. Alright, don't worry, we'll draw the other one. We're okay, going okay. Up on five mana. So if we ping that 3-1 and Arcane Golem is face, just oh, theoretically. Yeah. Theoretically, that's the best play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is sticking around, right? Yeah, there's no way he has, like, any of a lot of cards. Holy Nova, Belcher. What does he want here? If he light bombed, I might be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Ah, oh, this isn't good. Oh, maybe it's not that bad. It looks like it might stick. Uh, hey. This is good. Here we go. But, I mean, he's at 27. Yeah, we need 23, and we have 3 damage in hand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep, that's the that's the situation so, we're at. <laughs> so we just need a couple of Pyroblasts while he goes AFK, and we'll be all right. I guess we're just dropping this. Oh, yeah. Do I even play the Mana Worm? Yeah, why not? I mean, it just gets free traded. I don't know. You want this. This is good. Sets up for the value ping. Yeah, great. The value ping. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, let me tweet. That's good. There you go. Am I joining Tempo Storm too? Uh no, I'm happy with Archon. But I can understand why Firebad chose to leave. Like, you know, he wasn't happy for a while, I get it. Gotta do what's right for you. There's no like announcement about you joining Tempo Storm, right? You're just playing with them for that tournament? Yeah, I'm just playing with them for that tournament. That was... That's sick, by the way. Like, yeah. I was looking forward to playing with you, but playing against you is, like, even more exciting, I think. All right, cool. It's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that was my only option to still be able to play in the tournament, so that's what I did. I mean, I think it's a very good option. This yeah, it's pretty it's cool. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, legit hyped for this. I don't get very excited for tournaments, usually. Yeah, yeah, it should be fun. I'm not hyped for this game, though. Yeah. Well, you know, talk about other things, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll face all the time. Maybe oh, we can find it. Play. Yeah. Yeah. Really How can good. I means he can't heal? So uh, if we just ping him down over the next 17 turns. Fire it up. Fire it up. Bat picture appears on my stream. The donation service doesn't work right now. And did somebody stop? Did it just go off? Hmm, bit late for the Fell Reaver. So now we can just kill it. It'll probably stick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna work. Oh, man. Alright. Let me put you in the title. Alright, good. So, so what's the concept we're working with here? I missed the, the start of this deck. Blind man vaping 92 just subscribed. The concept of this deck is it's tempo mage with arcane golems and Leroy's and fell reavers. All right. Yeah. So it seems like a solid concept. We just queued into priest was the big problem here. Yeah. It's like it's like tempo mage, but more all in on the aggressive play and less interested in winning value games. Yeah. Exactly. And all right. not good against priest. Mm hmm. So do you think that makes it better against like druid? Yeah. Definitely. We got two with flame cannons in here. Druid. Yeah, we should just destroy Druid in the early games, but... Druid, Druid's a good thing to be good against. It's uh, pretty popular. More popular than Priest. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it, but... Uh, yeah, Priest. <laughs> Dude, I got my Golden Priest recently. Congrats. <laughs> Catching up, man. Yeah. I still have three Golden Classes to go. I need uh, Shaman, Mage, and Paladin. Oh, shit. Right, blind Man Vaping. I got you added to the queue, man. Yeah, Ooh. I need to get Shaman and Paladin too. I just, I just don't want to play Secret Paladin. We needed this card a long time ago. Right. Yeah, uh, these cards are really good earlier in the game. Oh, now he can heal. We're fucked. <laughs> no, yeah, now we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we were good before, but now <laughs> we had this in the bag. Yeah, exactly. We had a clock on him. Just thirteen more turns. Let me change. Yeah, I mean, he took the taunt too. I mean, this has just been. Yeah. One unfortunate event after another. Yeah. They took a sealed game right out of our hands. I, I felt like when we pulled that uh, Fell Reaver out of the Death Lord on turn four, that's when we had a chance. And then when he played the Shattered Death, 
that's when not so much. All right. All right. So I'll deck Doctor at first, and then you deck Doctor at after me, but you can't just undo all the changes I make to troll me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I promise I won't do that. Okay, okay. I... I think first off, what we need to do here is try and look at this one drop slash two drop curve. If we're going all in on the aggro, I think we're going to need either, we're going to need more one drops and two drops because right now we're looking at four two drops and four one drops. We need more minion presence in the earlier turns to be more all in on the aggro. So I want to drop maybe some of our higher costing minions, like maybe even Fell Reaver's got to go. And I want to put in more aggressive things like abusive sergeant so we have six one drops so we have pretty good odds of finding a one drop there and i want to try and get up to like at least six if not seven two drops so i'd say even just flame jugglers and knife jugglers even more aggressive than normal maybe get rid of piloted shredders put in a knife jugglers get rid of lotheb to keep going with this all-in theme and put in um what is, oh, not youthful brewmaster. Although that could be sick. Youthful links some arcane golems. Or the flame juggler, one extra damage. I like Imani Berserker, man. Pump it up to five damage, kill people. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you think? Alright, alright. Uh, if we're moving in the all-in direction, should we think about, like, ice lances and card draw? Like cold light oracles in there, you think, and, and ice lances? Yeah, but then we have to cut stuff to make room for it, such as... Hmm. I don't want to lose any of the early game board control spells. I think that's like the key thing that allows this deck to sort of work, is the fact that Mirror Images is so strong on 1 and Flame Cannon is so strong on 2. Right, we have board control spells, and, and they're protecting the early minions so that the early minions get repetitive damage in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we could lose, like, Fireballs and Leroy, and then add draw and lights lances. No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play fireballs over ice lances. <laughs> All right, I said I'm not allowed to troll you because I really feel like I should just troll you. Oh, okay. What if we took this in a more mid range direction, right? We added some staying power to the deck, put some some powerful mid game minions in there, like some piloted shredders and some fell reavers, uh, some fell reavers, yeah, and then a low theb to protect that powerful board presence that you're developing, and uh, you know. If you're going in a more mid-range direction, you need to cut some weaker cards so you can actually, um, you know, outvalue people from time to time. So maybe, uh, you know, you could cut like Leopard Gnomes, uh, Amani Berserker, that kind of stuff. Great. I'm gonna I think say, this, I'm gonna how say, about, uh, what about that 4-2 uh, thing, right? Yeah. Turn something into board? a hover? Yeah, we were talking about that in Twitch chat. Because we have the mirror images, and we have like a bunch of smaller minions yeah, that are fairly derpy. Ones. Yeah, it makes more sense now that we've changed. We could replace like an arcane golem with it if we wanted. I definitely won some games with some some polymorph boar mage. Sure. Take out the arcane golems. Go full polymorph boar mage. <laughs> Got him. Got him. The dream. Just much better. <laughs> this one gets through like a, a a taunt of some kind. Like if your opponent plays a death lord, sure. Just polymorph boar it. Yeah, that would have helped us in the previous game. Plus, if you have a flame waker out. And your opponent has like an 8 8 taunt in the way. Polymorph bore it. Flame Waker hits that bore twice. Got him. Easy. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then we can go Zelay's route and go mid rangey, and then it'll be exactly the same as before. Nobody will be offended. <laughs> it'll be great. <laughs> Alright. Easy game, easy life. Golden Warrior, no problem. Golden Man. I like this Man Worm thing. That's, that's a good draw. Oh, baby. Wow, you're talented. I think we're going to keep all of this, right? Um, what do you think about Manaworm coin Manaworm into Flame Cannon, his armor smith, and kill him? Yeah, how does the Flame Juggler fit with this curve? Doesn't that much. But, I mean, it's not bad to have around. Or what if he doesn't have an armor smith, right? Yeah, exactly. What if you don't problem. coin the Manaworm on turn one? What if you just go Manaworm and not coin Manaworm? That way, the second Manaworm gets the benefit of the coin, and it misses one attack. Sure. But either way, I think we're keeping all these cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's debate the pros and cons of coining out that second mana worm versus saving it to use it with the coin. Sure. It misses an attack, but it gets the benefit of the coin, right? So missing an attack, it misses one damage, or maybe the attack uh, affects the board. But against Warrior, probably the attack is not going to affect the board. It's just missing the one damage. Mm -hmm. And the upside is gains one extra attack permanently, which seems worth. It does seem worth. 
Especially if it connects again. Yeah. Then it just makes up the one damage. But if it doesn't it connect... Like four X, you got your one damage out of it anyways. True. And that's the only way he's going to be killing it anyway, reasonably. Yeah. So yeah, it's just strictly better. Got him. <laughs> Good play. Alright. This is going to be hard for him to come back from, I think. Yeah. He's going to need to do some stuff. Warrior can do stuff. They can just, like, revenge and shield block and things go badly. Why would you put that on me, though? I'm just saying. <laughs> this, is this something you can keep to yourself? Hachi's been playing that stuff, and, you know, it happens. The tournament medic comes out. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad time. Yeah. Well, Bash is annoying for sure, but... I think we just Arcane Intellect. Like, we have the abusive, but... When are we going to get a freer Arcane Intellect turn? Right. You just use your mana so much more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Like, abusive develops two power versus only one from Arcane Intellect, but mana efficiency, it's a thing. It is a thing. Wow, that was rude. Killed all of our mana worms. Alright. We don't have too much damage left. Yeah, we need minions. If we That's added not... more minions into the deck, too. I guess we're missing his face? Well, we kind of drew. Yeah, I think we missile his face once and ping his face, right? Yeah, yeah. We could double missile his face to skip the ping, but nah, it doesn't really make sense. We don't mind missling a Belcher here. We have to get through the Belcher, anyways. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, he just doesn't have a Belcher, you know? We just Leroy him that's, in the face that's on curve. That's important, yeah. Yeah, that increases our win percent <laughs> a lot. <laughs> no, that's Ooh. not good. So, Flame Cannon Ping Missiles? Oh god, this image was, would have been so good earlier. Yeah, we would have won the game with this image earlier. Yeah, Flame Cannon Ping, sounds good. And then Missiles. I like this. Oh, this is a good old 50-50. Yeah, easy 50 time to... And we messed up. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we were close. Alright, alright. So we got a combo in hand here where Mirror Image protects our Leroy so that it connects again. If Leroy connects twice, you win, man. Well... Most of the time. Yeah. Man. It's not too painful. Combo plays around shield block. The juggler mirror image combo. Not at its best with Acolyte of Pain on board. Yeah, definitely suboptimal with Acolyte of Pain on board. So. Shield Slam. Whirlwind. Aaron Eh. As far as things that kill our Leroy go, that's pretty good for us. Yeah, he doesn't even armor. Yeah. Fireball ping. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Got him. I mean, we just need a charger. Good thing we run polymorph boar. Yeah. We could just turn our knife juggler into a boar. And then Abusive Sergeant. And then abusive Sergeant, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a sick play. Or we could get really lucky with the Juggles and kill him. Okay, okay, that's a plan. Is, is he killing his own Baron Cadden? Or is he just looking He's for trying. Oh, he found a shield man. Missed off. an armor up. Fireball's lethal. Uh. I guess we kill Cadden. With some juggles. Can we really afford He has to 14 damage, we would die to 5. Yeah. And it's like bash plus something. Yeah. You think we should just ping him in the face and ignore it? <laughs> uh, nah, you probably should play your dudes. Yeah. I don't know. It... We lose Polymorph Huffer as an out by playing our dudes. Mm hmm. I I'm a, I I don't think he's got five damage. He's yeah, yeah, he doesn't bash. have five damage. He has yeah. four. He's got four. Like Gromash's four, Despite's four. Even before Arcanite Reaper. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amnesiac had me playing Arcanite Reaper. Ooh, that does pretty much five damage. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one to beat. Eight damage. Oh baby! Holy shit! Is that enough? All right. So we like juggler, juggler, 
buffer abusive. We don't have mana, right? do we? If we don't get the ping then that way. Oh, okay, so it's better to just ping. So we just juggler, huffer, abusive. But that's only seven. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. I mean, right, if this juggles him in the, the face, board. if this juggles him in the face, then it turns into huffer, juggles him in the face again, then abusive juggles him in the face. Is that enough? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that sounds... So we just have to uh, one in... Five. Okay. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can uh, clear the board here if we, like, abusive and then huffer it. And then win that way. We're going to go board control. Well, I mean, board control. <laughs> board control, board control. Okay. We're going to buff one of his guys. It's more style points. Okay, okay. And then this clears the get. Yeah, yeah. This is good. Oh, shit. Uh, that doesn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Learning something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Educational. He doesn't have bad. Yeah, I was just gonna sit there and wait. I was pretty sure eventually. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's just lagging. Dude, that would have been oh, sick man. if it actually shot the juggles though, because we would have cleared, and then died to this yeah. anyway. But. Well. Need more minions. The problem was we drew like the mirror image a little bit too late, and you got to clear our mana worms. Mm -hmm. I think but I gotta say, it's a bad sign when you draw a double mana worm and they don't get fiery war axe immediately and you still lose the game. Yeah. We need another two drop, man. And I think Arcane Golem's just strictly better. Mm -hmm. It would've been much better for us in yeah, that Yeah, like shoot struggles. Yeah. We would've won that game, right? Probably. Yeah, we probably would've won that game. I think, other than that, it seems pretty solid. I think we got unfortunate drawing double missiles and then the image late and... Yeah, missiles are really bad in that matchup. They were, like, less bad than usual, but they're still really bad. No, it was really bad when, like, failed to kill the slime, did, like, Two face damage for a card. Maybe we need one missiles, and then just put in. I feel like we need another draw or something. So the missiles is good with mana worm, sorcerer's apprentice, and flame waker. Yeah, but it's like it's okay, but it's not like exceptional. Yeah, yeah, and this deck has a lot of other ways to do that effect that are like kind of more efficient, mm -hmm. such as our jugglers and our flame wakers. I want another two drop, but I don't know if I want to put another Imani. <laughs> uh, what if we put like snow chuggers in there and just try and mine some wins against weapon decks, protect them with mirror image, and then lock them out? Sure. Yeah, that's just what we one. Would do. Draw the right amount. You don't want to draw two. Yeah, exactly. You only need one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the changes I would make to your deck, Skun. Speed it up a little bit. Get rid of the piloted shredders and try and go a little bit more smart with it. I like it. Does it get the Zelay seal of approval? Sure. Good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Uh, just one. Just one. Maybe one and a half, like, wow. a thumb up, a thumb sideways. He's a tough judge. Eh. All right, next deck for the Deck Doctor Q. I got Dr. Bones with Major Domo Mage. So let's put that Ooh. together. Domo or Homo? Why not both? Why not both? All Domo all the time. All right. Uh... Doomsayer. Gotta get these 16 viewers. Dude, 16 slave viewers? That's like 100 regular viewers, you know? Probably 200. They're the shit. I was trying to be nice, and now you're taking it too far. Nah. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, duplicate. Frost Nova. Barrier. Ice Block. Acolyte of Pain. Polymorph regular. Maiden of the Lake. One of. Maiden yeah. of the Lake goes deep, man. Just so you can get those 10 rag shots in once exactly. you get it all set up. That's so good. Heal by. I like this Acolyte of Pain Polymorph combo. Turn 3 Acolyte, turn 4 Polymorph, your innervated Dr. Boom. Trade my Acolyte in, draw a card. It's always innervated Dr. Boom, too. Yeah. <laughs> Harrison Jones, we got the tech. Sometimes they like double innervate a sneeds or something, but when has that ever stuff? happened? <laughs> Shut up! <again. laughs> I've n I've played Hearthstone for like years now. That has never yeah. happened once. But theoretically, it could. It could. Yeah. I, I don't think it's I've ever. I played will. a deck. I played an Astral Communion deck that could theoretically double innervate a sneeds. I, I've never played against an Astral Communion deck on ladder. Oh man! All right, Doctor Bones with the Major Domo deck. 
we have a really high threat density here with double Cordero Drake, Emperor, Alex Straza, and Major Domo. But we also have a lot of defensive precautions with that. We got the double Flame Strike, got the double Explosive Sheep, double Doomsayer, the Frost Novas. If we duplicate any of these things, we're going to be crushing people. Uh, what are your thoughts, man? So our secret package is Dupe Barrier, double block. Mm -hmm. Alex Straza heals us up when we're in Domo form, go up to 15. Mm hmm. We're trying to set up Emperor discounts so that we can do something like Koldara Drake with Maiden of the Lake and a bunch of Domo shots. Mm -hmm. Or we're just trying to make something stick, I guess. Yeah, literally, if like, like if Koldara Drake sticks and we got Domo up, the guy's dead. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I like yeah. it. It seems Let's give it a solid. Go. Harrison Jones and Mage. You don't see a lot of Harrison Jones and Mage because usually they go for like water elemental snow chugger type stuff, but that just doesn't fit this deck at all. So if you want to beat a weapon heavy metagame and you want to play Domo, I guess Harrison makes sense. Yeah, there's no frost bolts in this deck, which is kind of discerning because like Knife Juggler could just come down on turn two and blow you out of the water, but you do have double explosive sheep, double doomsayer, double scientist to try and play into that to try and stop it. So I guess you have yeah. answers to it even this intellect i think i like that yeah we definitely need to find this sheeps the scientists and the doomsayers but i don't think we want to pass back intellect all right we're a little bit slow here yeah no mana worm one time we can't get mana worm yeah, yeah we want him to not mana worm oh that's true never want my opponent to mana worm Oof, misplay. <laughs> they always do. <laughs> ping yeah, we're getting out. outplayed. I mean, we got no reason to ping his face, so I'm going to ping the Mana Worm. It's not like we're going to be trying to win with Burn. We don't have Frost Bolts or Fireballs in the deck. Right. Yeah. And even if we had all of those things, we'd still ping the Mana Worm. Yeah. Because face damage just isn't relevant at this point. Yeah. Early game, board control. Holy crap, this is a good, good player. <laughs> Well, turn seven, we can kill all this stuff. All right, all right, we got, we got, got two frost novas, so we just need to live multiple turns, getting beaten yeah. in the face for six plus damage. If we find a blizzard, maybe we can make it happen. We yeah. only run one blizzard though. Ooh, that might need to be a two of, with the amount of just raw aggro cancer stuff there is on ladder. So, um, we could draw explosive sheep as a way to like. Yeah, I think we so just we're drawing want to drop two... this. Okay. Um, like, make it soak up some damage at least yeah. to do something. You're probably going to ignore it and go face. Yeah, but sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have turn 5, we can Frost Nova, turn 6, we can Frost Nova, and then turn 7, we can Flame Strike. So we can stop down his pressure completely right now. So... Or we could trade and just drop a Belcher. Right, and if he fireballs that... We're eating a lot of damage. I think seven. we're eating too much damage to be comfortable with. So you want to Frost Nova and ping something? and? Yeah, I think I want to ping this and Frost Nova. Okay, because our Maiden of the Lake is going to kill that thing off when we're flame striking. Yeah, exactly. Or no, that doesn't make sense. Well, we flame strike first and then can trade our maiden into it, I guess. Yeah, so then the ping did nothing. Well, what if he plays another shredder? Uh, okay. Sure. He should have traded into it and frosted over there just in case our maiden got fireballed, I guess. Ooh, that went well for us. His board's pretty filling up. Oh, that's a good. Take good some job. cards. Is Wait, taking is cards it better, better to duplicate? I think duplicate's better. Just gonna um, flame strike and then drop down belchers. Okay. Yeah, let's draw belchers. Yeah. That sounds better than drawing cards from our deck. Belchers for days. Old taunt duplicate synergy, it's a good one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, he didn't play another minion. Unlucky. He might have seen this coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the double frost nova might have tipped him off. Right, we gotta what do you think that secret is? It's probably Mirantity, right? That's the most likely. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, good thing there's probably more. <laughs> That's convenient. Uh, should we start with Arcane Intellect out of fear of Counterspell, or...? Yeah, probably. We can't develop anything, anyway. I'd rather yeah. have this Counterspell than Ice Block, I think. Well, Ice Block, um, could save our life in the case where it's not Counterspell and he has Burned. Yeah, that's why. But it was Counterspell, so... Naskillet just subscribed. Thanks for subscribing, dude. If you got a deck list, feel free to link it in the chat, and I'll add you to the Deck Doctor queue, man. Woo! Woo. The queue is really long, so. <laughs> I How long is it? Do you um, do you have like a public queue? Like, can they see it? No, I don't know how to do that. I re well, you just make a Google Doc thing, and then I just recently did this myself. Um, you just have like a Google Doc that's your queue, right? Mm -hmm. And I think you just we need have your board. exclamation mark queue command link to that Google Doc, and That'd that way smart. people can see. I should set that up next time I do it. Yeah, it takes a minute. You can do it right now if you wanted. I don't want to do it in the middle of the stream and interrupt the flow, man. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't either. Yeah. But we do need to find... I think the problem here, obviously, was the early game thing, which may not be the deck's fault entirely, because yeah. we did get double mana worm. But I, I think Frostbolt's a good card. What do you think? Frostbolt is a good card. I could confirm that one. I don't think we need two ice blocks. All right, so we have three secrets now for two scientists. That's probably all right. Yeah, I think we want maybe only one Belcher too, since we have duplicate anyway. Uh, excuse. Okay, when you have duplicate, you really want to have a Belcher with it. That I know, but like uh, the problem is that we don't have like a solid curve that supports Belcher. So like most of the time, we're not gonna have an empty board just to drop Belcher down on because we're not gonna have a minion curve to be trading with them. So. Right. Belcher plus AoE is kind of anti-synergy because they can choose how to trade into the Belcher to minimize the impact of your AoE. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I still feel like Belcher sort of does the Harrison thing better. True. Belcher stops weapons. It doesn't draw a card, but it stops more weapons than Harrison probably stops. Yeah, and sometimes there are like non-weapon things that you want to stop that Belcher can stop. Fair enough. And it synergizes with Duplicate much better than Harrison does. Yeah. Fire the third Harrison rarely gets value. <laughs> Fire it up. We just got a sub. I don't know who it was. All right, it is Edward6282. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Welcome to the Bad Cave team thing. Really appreciate the support. Feel free to link a deck in the chat, and we'll add you to the deck doctor queue, man. So, Ooh. do you think we need a second Blizzard? I think second Blizzard over Caldera Drake will help us be more defensive. I think versus Control, we're going to win in the long run anyway. Okay. Why are we going to win in the long run anyways? Because we have a duplicate and... Big things to duplicate, and then... Yeah. Like, if we duplicate Emperors, what the fuck do they do? Uh... We just guaranteed get off the Major Domo combo and kill people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. I like it. Let's yeah, it I think... Usually you play, like, two Blizzards, one... Well, okay. We do have Doomsayers, right? Yes, two Doomsayers. So yeah, so Blizzard's, Blizzard's better good. there. Yeah. I personally like Blizzard more than I like Flamestrike, anyway. Just like freezing things is so good. Yeah. All right, we got Edouard. Add new deck to the queue, man. Feels good, man. Well, I like this Doomsayer thing we got. Yeah, having that on turn two is going to be great. We keep Major Domo for the dream? No. <laughs> but uh, let's defer this dream. All the chat's going to go homo now. That sounds like a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so now we're probably not going for the turn 2 Doomsayer anymore, because we have Frost Nova. Dude, your number one fan is in chat, and he says hi. Do you know oh, who it is? Hello. Uh, probably Joe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I knew exactly who he was. That's pretty sweet. Alright, Frost Nova Doomsayer on 5 is going to be badass. Got yeah. Frostbolt to kill a Knife Juggler if he wants to get that out there. Or just even a flame imp wouldn't be bad to kill. And yeah, not gonna point out a doomsayer. Wish we had scientist into acolyte. Does that make me greedy? Yeah, that's the best Sorry, possible Sorry, I want scientist into arcane intellect. Yeah, obviously. So you're just saying you want to draw a perfect curve every time? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's special. I mean, my opponents do it like often enough. Sure. I mean, it's fair. It's fair. You gotta dream big, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
So. Right. so is that good for us or bad for us that he's not Sue? I feel good. like it's bad for us. Well, with this hand, it might be bad for us. We don't have any draw, but I think it's good in general. Okay. Emperor is really good with his hand because we have Frost Nova Doomsayer to set it up. You can Emperor on an empty board. Sure. Uh. I see his Reno lock. So we're going to have to set up the like 100 damage combo. I think Barrier is okay there. Better than the alternatives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frost Nova gained two life. Got him. That card's annoying. You think we just pop it in anticipation to try and Frost Nova Doom the following turn? Yeah, I mean, we could take a hit from Malganus here, right? It's just 13. Yeah, just 13. <laughs> then we Frost Nova Doom into Emperor. Well, that wasn't even Malganus. It's not even bad. Yeah, that's lucky for us. I thought it was going to be another Void Caller. <laughs> that would have sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that usually goes for me. Kill a Void Caller. There's another one coming. So Lotheb is going to be a problem card for us. Good thing he doesn't have it. But yeah, Lotheb is a problem card for our whole deck. We're basically Freeze Mage. Yeah. Egg is a problem card. I mean, we still Frost Nova Doomsayer, I think. Hmm. You're not so inclined? Uh, what's your plan? Are you going to Emperor into a board where he's a 4-4 and he'll just like do something and kill it? It'll be alright, I guess. Yeah, that's my plan. Alright. Do we read him as... Yeah, he's Zoo. Right, he's not some weird Reno thing. I read him as some weird Reno thing right now, but... I read him as Zoo that had a bad start. Really? Please don't drop Turn one pass, egg. turn two tapped. But he has like an egg and a double Doom Guard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's Zoo. You're right. Oh my god. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not good. That's true. It is bad. Uh, Scientist Frost Nova into Pop the Egg and Blizzard. Alright. I like the whole Frost Nova protecting our minions thing. Yeah. If he implosions, we want him to roll like a 1. Is that a possible outcome? Nope. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, if you believe hard enough, anything's possible. All right, Thanks. Mas <laughs> I knew it. Masket, I got you. I got you in the deck, Doctor Q. Man, no worries. No worries. You know, this is going this is going real swell here. I like this tap thing. No implosion. I mean, why would he implosion? I mean, he's there's no way he would implosion. He doesn't even get that many imps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, all right. All right. Trade here, Blizzard. Adam. Sets up for our top decked Blizzard into Flame Strike. Hey. It'll work. Yeah. I mean, it could happen. Even if we just draw Flame Strike. Yeah, Flame Strike's pretty damn good here. That uh, clears everything but a 1 1. Yeah. Just coin thing with it. Yeah, exactly. Easy. So we got two outs, three if you count Blizzard. Mm -hmm. and we got a, two explosive sheeps in here. Is that even good? It's mm, not. Good. Those things have five toughness. Yeah. I mean, but we could explosive sheep. It's still pretty good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. The void color doesn't do anything much. We could, we could, he's got board space problems here. We already used both Frost and Lewis. I can still I can draw Blizzard. Blizzard. Yeah. I mean, we gotta go for it, right? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Do we trade the scientist first into something? I don't know if the scientist is dying. Alright, then I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I think we're trading the scientist here. Um. Try and stop the bleeding a little bit, and maybe just play Emperor or something. It's not going to kill us in one turn. Well, do you have any interest in, like, greed trading into a Haunted Creeper? Is that we take, um, take, like, three more damage? 
That's maybe not worth. I'm gonna do what your heart tells you. Alright, my heart tells me Emperor time. Alright, good. If you don't do it now, we're never gonna get to do it. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, so we're probably gonna duplicate it, yep. Without the Frost Novas, though, this can be bad. Drawing those Frost Novas early and being, like, forced into situations to use them wasn't good. Yeah, were there ways we could, like, just take more damage and use less Frost Novas? Probably. There had to be a way we could have saved one. Yeah, Frost Nova Emperor is a pretty strong play. Yeah. It's almost as strong as Antonite's Frost Nova. Just pulling Melganis now. <laughs> oh, cool. Not too shabby. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen damage. Ooh, that's a good card. Yeah. So if we like Belcher and Doomsayer and Frostbolt and Ping, does that work? No. Well, we gotta try it. <laughs> yeah. Frostbolt, I believe. Yeah, and then just ping the two, two one. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a world where this goes off. I believe. I mean, he's used both Doom Guards. He's got. He needs four damage. He's used both Doom Guards, both abusive sergeants. No power overwhelmings. One power overwhelming would do it. Yeah. That looks like not a power overwhelming. Maybe he has an owl. Maybe he messes up and fills his board while killing this slime with his Imp Gang boss. Damn. Please just don't be able to answer it one time. Gormok. I don't know if they play it? Gormok with Voidcaller. Yeah, nobody does that shit. You're the only one that plays Gormok. Okay. <laughs> Dude, have you seen, have you deck doctored the uh, Gormok Unleash decks? Because that combo is badass. Like, no, I don't think I have. Unleash? You play Volcanic Drake with that? No, Go they hard. don't, but they should. That would be crazy. But no, yeah. <laughs> like just Gormok Unleash isn't even bad in Hunter. Like, it's just yeah, not it's a just... bad combo. Okay, okay. Just Gormok Hunter. Dude, it's got to be one of the most underrated combos in Hearthstone. Did that just go off? No, this didn't happen. <laughs> Is this real life right now? Nah, <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Fuck. We do this now, right? Uh, I believe in you, man. We still have one Seeker left, and it's like an ice block. Yeah, you want to get this ice block out there? I mean, he couldn't deal 7 damage last turn. What are the odds he can deal 12 this turn? You think he's well, going to top deck Pyro? 10. So... Yeah. yeah, there's no way. I have faith my Warlock opponent doesn't top deck Pyro Blast here. It's 50-50. <laughs> he needs, like, power, power, Argus. What if he just goes, like, Third Doom Guard, discard double fist. And they both go face. Then yeah. I'll retire from Hearthstone if that happens. Okay, that's fair. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Totally fair adjustment. What's the amount and how long is the queue? The year is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decks in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we got a long uh, queue. I remember these days. What do you mean you remember these days? You still deck no. doctor, right? Yeah, yeah. Days when I, you know, had like ten in the queue. Yeah. I've been going sellout mode, bumping up the price, doing what I need to do to get the queue down. Oh shit! How much do you charge now? Uh, I don't do it for subscribers anymore. I do it like every six months that they subscribe. Oh, okay. So it's just ten dollar deck doctor, and also I have like the twenty dollar premium deck doctor version now, where I play it at least twice and. Uh, like, if you go, like, 5-0, you get, like, another deck doctor. If you go 10 you get into the Hall of Fame, which nobody has yet. And uh, you also get, like, 50 bucks of Archon swag if you go 10 -0. Like, I'll play your deck until it loses kind of thing. Shit. I guess uh, we're just going to do this and get the ice block out somehow. And uh, Alex ourselves, or just Emperor, I guess, because we can Alex ourselves after the ice blocks pops. So I'm gonna do this. Hero power first. Yeah, hero power first. We get ice block every time from the scientist. So we get the ice block, and then we just emperor sheep, 
right? Sounds good. Look what we're doing here, man. This is really good. Yeah. This is working out very swell, very swell. We just need one of those Caldera Drakes now. Remember when we were going to lose this game and then Doomsayer went off? Yeah, that was magical. <laughs> I, I had no idea that was going to go off. That seemed like impossible. He had like eight cards in hand. He needed four damage. He probably had four damage and just didn't realize. I wonder. Man, I always play all the decks twice. Wow. How long do you think it takes you to get through um, like three decks? Uh, like an hour-ish, maybe that's longer. Fun. That's now. Now this is a problem because our ice block doesn't work on our turn. So our hero power hitting boom bots could theoretically kill us. Like not this turn, but if we were a little bit lower. Yeah, that's a bummer. Like explosive sheep ping is not a thing. Fortunately, we don't have any more doomsayers, so we don't have to worry about those killing us. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's lethal. <laughs> Go for it, every time. Fuck it, right? You can do one for. Oh wait, you want that in play to soak up boombot shots? Yeah, that's what no, I'm thinking. No, you don't want it. Uh, well, I mean, you don't want to soak. It I scares me one. if we hit ourselves in the face with boombots twice and die. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's worth it. The thing's gonna die anyways. It's lethal. Sick. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Six snipes. Now face. Oh. <laughs> Six snipes. That's lethal. You could have done better. That, that was, was pretty bad. good. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was terrible. I would have leveled him there. Shit, dude. You got high expectations. Uh, I'm saying misplay. That was a like solid one in thirty-six lethal. What was it less than that? It's one in forty-nine. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's over two so, percent. Always lethal, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right, now when these boombots each roll one, um, it's a total of eight damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I mean, he can't even clear here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Lucky, he rolled two. Ooh. This guy's RNG's crazy. Yeah, what the heck? This is unfair. <laughs> he still needs a card from hand to pop us. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, power overwhelming. Yeah, it has to be right. Power overwhelming or uh, could be dark, dark iron. Okay, it was power overwhelming. It's gonna pop us at four. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you should have attacked with the brand first. He didn't uh, have very many ways to play that turn. Yeah, that was certainly not the correct way. Right, and Boombot dies blue too, bots, which is a big liability. Well, I guess it doesn't that much. So now we can do this and then Alex herself, right? Sounds good, man. Dead. Nope. Damn. Worst target. One Rocky. So he has eight here, but he's already used two Doom Guards and a Power Overwhelming and two Abusives. Yeah. So he needs, like, Argus Power Overwhelming to kill us? It's one off, right? Oh, yeah, Bran, okay. Yeah. He's going for the implosions. He's just gonna go and try and clear. He feels like he needs all four of these one ones. Unlucky. All right. The numbers are awkward for him. I feel like this flame strike's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, flame strike is not bad. We're like one man off from like the polymorph flame strike hero power phase. Man, our hero power sucks against this board. Yeah. He's got to trade the Lothab. <laughs> that sucks. Those jokes yeah, did not strike, go in his either favor. lethal or a board clear, right? Yeah. That's so pretty sick. I like that. This game is awesome. This game is easy. Damn. Never lucky. <laughs> RNG, terrible, man. Ah, uh, so unlucky. His RNG, probably a little worse, but... <laughs> Ours is bad too. Yeah, he's zoo and we didn't know it until about turn six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the changes we've made so far. We're alive still. That's good. Made it way more defensive. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Good decision making on his part, realizing that there's no difference between being at seven and four. Mm-hmm. All dies to one shot. Yeah, he's living on the edge. What is this card? It's a Shattered Sun Cleric. Dark Iron Dwarf. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I guess he developed Dwarf. He's staying alive. Gotta give him yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could just develop two minions, but that doesn't sound fun. I think we gotta take the shot. Yeah, yeah. Gamble. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect finish beautiful it, it's like incorrect there the hero power right oh yeah definitely develop two fives is more correct yeah yeah <laughs> all right so these are the changes i would make to the major domo mage dr bones i'd use the bathroom though so zelay just tell a story about this guy's deck and comment on it and stuff so be right back that's a beautiful deck uh, what if you fit in a second acolyte of pain for that polymorph synergy no it's probably not too important you have two arcane intellects so we added two frost bolts. The key thing was getting Doomsayer to go off. That's a big deal. And we had, um, we sh I should mention, we caught Harrison for Belcher, or we caught Harrison for something else. But uh, the Belcher was key to victory that game uh, it, because it protected our Doomsayer so that our Doomsayer went off so that we actually, actually won her. Uh, let's see. So the dream with this deck is you made your Domo. You get it killed off, you have an ice block up to protect yourself from their lethals. And with a bunch of Emperor discounts, you go like Koldara Drake and Maiden of the Lake and Hero Power a whole bunch of times, shoot Ragnaros a bunch of times, kill him. That's what we're going for, that's the dream. But it's basically just a control deck. Like Just because it has a combo in it doesn't mean it's a combo deck. This is a control deck. Your game plan is to stop what your opponent's doing. And you sometimes randomly blow them up with cool stuff, but... Most of the time, you're just sitting there trying to stop them from doing what they're doing. I've played this deck a little bit. I think it was, uh, I think Dog is a streamer who has spent a lot of time developing these sort of Domo mages, so you might be able to dig through Dog's replays or VODs or whatever and find some gameplay from him, figuring it out, testing all the things. Uh, Big Game Hunter is a card that we're not playing that's often seen in these kinds of lists. Once in a while you even Big Game Hunter your own major domo to play around stuff like Silences. But uh, more often it's just like a... What else can we say about this deck? What's up, Mac? It's sweet. Did you tell a good story? Yeah, I was talking about Dog. Hot Dog's a good guy. He loves this deck. Exactly. Yeah. And Big Game Hunter. What do you think about Big Game Hunter in the deck? To kill your own Domo? Yeah. Yeah, I like it maybe better than Maiden of the Lake. I think that's like the worst card we got in there right now. Yeah, because you don't really need to hero power for one mana. It's pretty good at two mana still. Yeah, two mana deal eight's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's, all, it's, all, it's still worth two mana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't need it. Like, yeah. It doesn't need to get much better. It's more for the Koldara Drake, I guess, when you have Koldara Drake and not... Um... Yeah, but it's like too much of a dream. Yeah, I think Dog uh, recommended, what was it called? The 6 3 guy, Justicar. Uh, but that might have been like a double Kuldara Drake list. It's just like a backup plan for when Domo's not working. Okay. And so you can't turn into Domo, yeah? Over what? I, I, I wouldn't rec necessarily recommend it for this list. It's just a, a thing to keep in mind when you're working on the deck. Sure. We got it to work there, so it's obviously perfect. Yeah, we won, so I mean, our job's done. Oof. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right, Seal Team 906 with the first draft of his handlock for standard. So keep in mind when we're doctoring this, this is a standard deck. So that means only the latest set is allowed to be used and the classic cards. So no GVG or next Ramus. I'm pretty excited for the upcoming changes to Hearthstone. Like, oh yeah, I felt like that was a thing that really needed to happen. Like. Six months ago, I was really worried about the future of Hearthstone, and then LOE happened, a bunch of good cards, that was all fun. Yeah, LOE now, was awesome. It's standard, it's like, yes. They're doing good things now. Yeah, this is exciting. Yeah. Dreams are coming true. Woo! Coils, Ooze, Ancient Watcher, Ghoul, uh, all of the standard. Man, this is a blast from the past. Yeah. We're just playing legit 
hand lock from way back in the day. We just and has been uh, tricking me, trying to trick me into playing this deck. Tuskamora, just subscribe. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Feel free to link a deck in the chat, and we'll add it to the queue. I really appreciate the support, man. Just like, give three cheers for our new sub, or my new sub. Woo! And just one. I'm feeling just, one. Just feeling one? Man, he One's seems a like, really good amount. All right, he seems like a, he deserves three, though. Seems like a good guy. Woo, woo! All right, that's three. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, what a good sport. All right, ZZMXR said, even Diablo 3 doesn't suck. Blizzard really stepped up their game. Yeah, I was just playing Diablo 3 in my spare time, and uh, they really did make it suck less. I, I've been enjoying it. It's not like a great game, but it's like, eh, it's an alright way to kill some time. We got Fen Creepers. We got Fen Creepers. Fen Creepers are in the deck. Oh, because Belcher's not a thing anymore? Uh, yeah, Belcher's not a thing anymore, so Fen Creeper, natural substitute, and Sengens, honestly. We got the whole taunt kit going on here. Alright, alright. Have you considered um, Eerie Statue with the whole Sun Fury Argus Shadow Flame package? Your statue is a card we can play in standard, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll worry about that when we're doctor. Yeah, 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 you should be able to. Sure. All right. So likes, dislikes. I like how it's a blast from the past. We got the watchers, things to taunt them up. Makes sense there. We got out value people with giants. I'm not so sure about the like sengens on the four drop line because we already have twilight drakes. We already got mountain giants on four. I guess it's in the place of like void callers. So we yeah, that's have... one of those things that's not super obvious when you first look at a handlock deck. The mountain giant is actually like a four drop or attempting to be a four drop. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we may be overloaded on just four drops in this deck, which is something to think about. Mm -hmm. But let's uh, run it and see how it goes. Also, we have Sylvanas. Sylvanas can sometimes do some clutch things with power overwhelming. So including power overwhelming in Sylvanas list is always fun because you got the seven mana Sylvanas power overwhelming to take something. Sylvanas Shadow Flames, such a good time. Sylvanas Shadow Flames, insane. Yeah, we only have one Shadow Flame in there with the Sylvanas in the handlock, so second Shadow Flame might be something to think about as well. But yeah, we just have like a lot of value minions. So with the extra minions in our deck, maybe we don't want the two Hellfires because like you, you're gonna be holding board because you always have a four drop since you have the extra Sengins in there. You're gonna have Fen Creepers on the board, so not sure how necessary two Hellfires is gonna be, especially without heal bots to bring yourself back up. Damaging yourself with Hellfire can be pretty annoying. All right, BGH probably not the best keep against Hunter. Uh, how you feel about that keep? Probably solid. Yeah, Coin Twilight Drake to deal with Animal Companion sounds mm -hmm. decent. Who's to deal with Ooh. weapons? Molten right, are right. sick. <laughs> That could have gone a lot worse. Could not have gone a lot better. Nice! The perfect coil... Well, I guess Abusive Sergeant's the perfect coil target, but... That's good. I'm not gonna complain about it. Man, you are yeah. really greedy with these things. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's absolutely the perfect nah, possible I just, thing. I just want stone nuts. Yeah, yeah every stone. time. Like... Man, you do not settle for subpar right, ever. Let's try Dark Bomb. We can't. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, Dark Bomb is uh, not standard. So I guess... So this... if we tap, we would have a bigger Twilight Drake. Do we care, though? We would also get closer to Molten Giant. <laughs> <laughs> but you think you want to develop this Watcher? I don't know. We don't have any Taunt Givers for the Watcher and the Molten yet. So I feel like tapping for a card's all right if you... I'm also tempted to just throw this out there to try and kill this Juggler. I feel really bad about that. I like the Watcher play better. You sure? I mean, this juggler is going to deal five damage or so. Like, this guy is going to be really... It's going to deal... It's going to deal, like... Oh, you're going to coin Senja next turn, you think? Uh, I was going to coin Twilight Drake. Yeah, so I... it's going to deal, like, six plus damage. Yeah, it's going to hurt like hell. I figure we could probably get Ooze out, and if he doesn't roll Misha, we can kill it. Or at least maybe yeah. make him, like, bow and trade to protect his jugglers. So we just take less damage. All right. We don't have heal bots, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, we don't have heal bots? <laughs> no, you can't run heal bots in standard. Do we have Alex Straza? No, uh, no, we don't have Alex Straza. We have Lord Jaraxxus, though. Okay. Oh, sweet uh, Jesus. Man, it's a really good thing you played that six Swamp Ooze. That worked out great. Yeah, see? Take too much damage. Clearly, we were just going to top deck the Sun Fury. All right, so Drake into Watcher Sun Fury. Yeah. Well, it's working out good. Probably Drake into Sengen. 
Yeah, save the sun period for the, the zero mana 8-8, eight, eight, man. Yeah. God, look at that handsome gentleman. Wow. This is not working out great for our opponent. This no no he had to pass again man. It turns out standard handlock's pretty good. Yeah, helps a lot. Like helps a lot when your opponent's kind of missing their curve. Uh oh. Amnesia has oh. to get involved in the call. Oh, nice. Uh, I need to hop off, so that's actually pretty good timing. But I think if you pop the Lepronome and an Explosive Trap, you could, like, Molten Watcher Sun Fury. Sure. I guess I'd rather have the Drake get brought back to my hand if it's freezing, so I'll go here. But it's well, explosive every it's time. Explosive every time. All right. I need to get going. See ya. All right. See ya, dude. Have a good... You're streaming right now, right? Uh, yeah. So All right. Just... Stop by when you can, doesn't have to be today, just whenever convenient. Alright, yeah, for sure, cool. for sure. Alright guys, that was Zelay tuning into the stream to hang out. Fire it up. Fire it up. QHobo1NJ just subscribed, thanks for subscribing dude, welcome to the Batcave team thing. I appreciate it. If you got a deck list, feel free to link it in chat and we'll get to doctor in it. Am I getting kill commanded in the face? Heal pot, please. Where the heal pot? All right. Well, our only option here is to try and so hope he doesn't have another kill command, and then maybe we can kill him on the backswing of this if he doesn't have the second kill command. I mean, he needs second kill command or quick shot to really be able to kill us. If he doesn't find those, then he's gonna be dead. Arcane golem does not get through. Hero power is not completely gonna kill us. Quick shot's still an out that he has. 8, 9, 10, 15, so we're 1 damage off lethal, but now we have the Draxxus, so we're not. <laughs> Alright. Yo. Yo, what's up? How's it going, dude? I, uh, we're doing Deck Doctor, we're not just doing standard format. But, if you want to practice your standard format skills, feel free to uh, critique this deck with me that is a Deck Doctor for standard format. Am I talking? Yes, I'm talking. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> the world can hear you, man. Archon, am I right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, Alright, uh, say something then. I'm saying things, man. How's it going? <laughs> alright, now. Oh, okay. It was oh, just yeah. mad quiet. Alright, yeah. Alright, alright. All right. Cool, cool. For some reason, you're like 10 times quieter today than you were yesterday. Sounds like Ooh. computers. Standard handlock with fen creepers. Fen creepers over heel bots, man. Or belchers. <laughs> mm. So what does it what does handlock lose? It loses dark demons, bomb. which is fine. It loses dark bomb, which is fine. It loses heel bot, which kinda sucks. Mm hmm Um What's the what's the state of the world? Uh I'm getting things organized with my flight and everything. And so how uh, I'm waiting for an email. I'm waiting for an email about that. I'll let you know when I know. So you know you can't go without. Yeah. I can give you my the travel card of my travel agency if you want. No, I mean my flight. My flight's taken care of. I don't think we have to worry about that. How am I getting on that flight? Yeah, I mean I'm waiting for an email about that. Yep. All right. Sorry. No problem. No problem. 
really start muting my mic before I, whatever. I don't really <laughs> care that much. Man. I'm used to getting rashed on, man. It's cool. I think it's, I think it adds personality.